Hey everyone, today I'll be sharing some features of Notion that are routinely overlooked, especially if you're using Notion by yourself and you're not having to collaborate with other people. Even if you're writing solo using Notion, I'll be sharing some insights on Notion notifications and reminders that can enhance your Notion workflow and make it easier on yourself. I'll be showing some examples on how I use notifications and reminders to give you a quick overview on how to start setting things up. Notion has these two great resource pages that we can also preview, and I'll link that in the description of the video. I think updates are really helpful. As you can see, I'm just going over this really quickly to introduce the terminology that Notion likes to use and so you know what to look for when you're trying to set this up in your workspace. Comments, mentions, and reminders. We won't be going over everything that we see on these pages, but I will show you most of how to unlock and use these features. So I think the best way to showcase this is through a really easy example that I've created yesterday. And as you can see, there's a red one next to the update section. And so I will show you how I set up this reminder and what it looks like when it triggers. So if you go to the updates, you can ignore these other items, but notice how we have a red alarm clock reminder in, and then the page that I added the text. And then this is the text I actually typed to create this reminder. So with notifications and reminders and specifically, the at symbol is gonna be your best bet in terms of getting started. And we can start with an at, we can do remind tomorrow, for example, at 9 a.m. And then what we can do is tag myself and then type a message. And as you can see, that's exactly what we did in this example, where we specified the today's date, the time, the reminder, I tagged myself, and then I added some text. And so when I did this yesterday at 9.30 this morning, this triggered. This is a really, really great way, really simple way to add reminders and take advantage of this updates section, which you might not be fully taking advantage quite yet if you're working by yourself or maybe you just don't know how reminders work. Within a team environment, I think this could be incredibly useful. You can imagine how easy it is to tag someone with the at symbol and then set up that reminder and then add some text. And again, you can add this text in any block or database page. And so I think this is incredibly valuable and I highly recommend you experimenting with these simple reminders. Another thing I'll say with the at symbol is it allows you to highlight pages and people. So not only can you set that reminder or the date for example, but you can reference pages like that. And once you click on it, it works really easy like that and bam. So as you can see, the notification still remains. And so say we've marked it as red is we can hover over to this check, mark this notification as red and that number will disappear. And now this won't pop out. The other thing that we can add and sort of combine with the app function and tagging is if you're working with other people and you wanna make a comment, for example, you can click on the six dots, you can hover over to comment, and then in the comment bar, you can automatically use the at, and then you can specify dates, names, pages, and all that as well. I would also consider adding comments and combining that with the use of the at function so you can sort of tag people, remind people, and also connect pages and relevant documents as well. Again, you can add comments to any block in any database, but you cannot add more than one comment across several database entries. I think another thing to consider is the page updates history, which might be helpful when you're thinking about how something is changing over time and how that might relate to the reminders that you're setting as well. Really simple way to do that is we just go to this view all updates section and we can see how anyone's changed the pages. You can see the replies, mentions, comments, and replies. And this is a really great way to centralize everything in one place. I think another example that I've created pre Notion automations is a reminder template that I set up earlier this year. So this is one of the first templates I created when I started my journey. And this is pre Notion automations. And I basically created a standardized setup with step by step instructions on how you can create a reminders database using the template I set up here. And the idea behind this template was to create a daily, weekly and monthly reminder where folks could create triggers and properties and assign themselves with a reminder around whatever they needed. This is a free template and I'll also be linking this within the video description below. And I feel like this process of creating a recurring database template in which we're repeating daily, weekly, monthly, and even yearly, and then also assigning ourselves can be a really great way to automate our reminders within a database itself and for free right? You don't need a premium account to do this and you don't need Notion automations to do this either because we are relying on the recurring database templates that we are setting up 
manually. This is a very comprehensive setup that I've shared with everybody earlier on in my journey. And this is a free template that you can download as well so that you can get started right away. And the basis for this notion reminders basically is a combination of a person property and a date prop and we are just setting the reminder manually for that property but we're just templatizing it to make it work seamlessly and automate it i'll show you that in action if we click on here i have created a daily check-in reminder system and as you can see i haven't really been checking in with myself like i wanted to but as you can see i have this daily check-in system where at a certain time every day i get tagged and notified that, oh, it's time to do your daily check-in, right? It's a pretty simple check-in thing that I started, and obviously I haven't got around to completing it. As you can see, all the updates pile up, and maybe you like that, maybe you don't. Really important piece of Notion that I think sometimes gets forgotten is the Notion app. And so if we use this example I set out earlier or the other day, this is what it looks like on my Android phone when that reminder processes. Today at 9.30 a.m., tagging myself, please take a look at this first thing. As you can see, it's identical to here, and now it's a neat push notification that we can also see on our phone. And I think that's incredibly powerful with reminders as well, so that even if you're away from your computer or your workplace, you have a way to see this without having to be signed in in your Notion account. You know, this means that you have a Notion app and you're signed in through that and you set up notifications to appear on your phone when necessary. Those are some basic examples that I shared, but these are all very simple setups that I have created and that you will have access to within the video description. The last thing I'll show you all is the combination of person and a date property. And I think this is really the foundational elements of a reminder that we can create within a database environment. We can say, oh, I'm going to tag myself. And then the other thing here, with the date property is we need to make sure to click the remind. Unfortunately, the remind feature of the date property is limited to 9 a.m. And so that is when you can manually type up your reminders and you can specify down to the minute and tag the appropriate people if necessary. But this is just another option that I would like to share with you all. Now on December 5th, maybe December 6th, on day of event, I'll get a notification here in my update section at 9 a.m. The other way we can think about this, like I showed you in my other template, is by creating a database template. I just did one there, and we can have it repeat. And if we have it repeat every day, we can, and start it today, for example, let's just say 10.43 a.m., right? It's 10.42 at the moment, so I'm gonna just add myself and then when it's duplicated. So now I've just created a recurring template that repeats every day at 1043, which is in a minute from now, and we can edit it like this. So we'll wait for 30 seconds to a minute and we'll see what it looks like on the updates bar, assuming that we've set it up properly. It's 1043 now. Now we should have the reminder pop up because we have this template set up. So now when we just clicked on updates, notice how the one shows automation mentions you in a page. We have my tagged and then we have the name untitled. So if I do this and say test one, that'll be test one. So I just briefly showed you how to create a database template, repeat it, specify a day. I just did the next minute to show you guys. And then I edited it. I tagged the person and then I tagged the date in which it got created. So if we go to the table itself, it says the 1043 AM like it should be the person. And now we have this updates that we can refer here. I can mark that notification as red. And that is the same concept that I've applied here within my automating reminders template. And then even with my daily check-in that I created here. So I think there's several ways we can set up reminders. And I hope that this video is helpful in trying to get you to use the at symbol, possibly use comments and using other features of Notion that you might have forgotten about or have not used before. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.